These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now Holds in Pride of Phoenix Media. This is part four of a four part video series that shows you how to downgrade your PS3 Slim from OFW 4.76 down to 3.5 OFW using an E3 flasher tool. So let's do this. So in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare your USB thumb drive with the correct files so then we can go back to the PS3 and downgrade it uh, successfully through the firmware update process. So first thing is make sure you have a USB thumb drive format as FAT32. If you forgot how to do that, just go to your computer, plug in your thumb drive, go to your thumb drive, right click, go to format and say it's FAT32. You can give whatever name you want. I'm going to call it PS3. For example, quick format is perfectly fine. Click and start and click OK, and then you'll be good to go momentarily. And just so you guys are curious, I'm going to use an 8 gigabyte thumb drive today. OK, so I'm going to double click into here. And I'll put this on my second monitor for now. So right now, if you go to the more info section, there will be a link to download the Versatile 4.76 pack. Inside that folder structure, there's going to be some folders here. So right now, we're going to go to step three. There's a toggle, toggle a QA package as well as a Condor updater. So go ahead, select both of those, right click, say copy, and then go ahead and paste it into the root of your USB thumb drive. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on in, in the video tutorial. And if you forget about the toggle QA key press, I have that also noted here just in case, and we'll talk about that again later on in the video tutorial. Next thing you wanna do is in step four is the downgrader folder. And there's gonna be a download links. Uh, text file and here there's going to be links to where you can download the 3.55 OFW as well as the 3.55 Rogero downgrader and I also included an MD5 too just in case so you can make sure that the file you downloaded matches this uh, file as well. Once you have those two files downloaded uh, they're going to look very similar to like these two file names right here. Just for now we're going to go ahead select both of them right click go to copy and then on your USB thumb drive we're going to make some new folders. So the first folder is going to be called PS3. It's going to be all capital letters, PS3. Next folder is going to be uh, nested inside it under the PS3. It's going to be called update. And then inside here, we're just going to paste those two files here. This is going to save us uh, a little bit of time later on in the video tutorial when I reference this folder directory structure again. So after those two files copy over, we're going to rename one of the files. We're actually going to rename the Rogero downgrader file to PS3 up dat dot pup so once the file copy process is done i'll show you how that works so the idea of today's video tutorial is we're going to get the usb thumb drive all set up we're going to turn on the ps3 connect your thumb drive to the rightmost usb port on the ps3 and also connect a usb cable to your ps3 controller uh, to the left uh, usb port and then we'll follow through the wizard process and show you how this works it really is going to be a lot of good times today and finally, this tutorial series is going to end on a on a bang, so to speak. Okay, so we got the files. They're almost done, almost done, almost done. And we are done. So first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and rename the downgrader. So I'm just going to rename it like this. Um, PS3 update that pop. PS3 update that pop. That's it. Don't make the mistake when calling a PS3 update that pop that pop. Don't do that. So... Make sure it's just like this. So what's going to happen is we're going to downgrade the PS3 using this first file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete this file. And then we're going to rename this one, the OFW 3.55, to PS3 update that pub. So later in the video tutorial, I'm going to make a reference to that, to renaming the files. I have a video that will show you how to rename this again. So we will recontinue and come back to this at a later time in today's video tutorial. And all you got to do now is go ahead, eject your USB thumb drive, and let's go back to the PS3 and get started on the roller coaster for a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so we're back at the PS3, so let's do this. So what I've done so far is here's my PS3 Slim. I have connected a thumb drive to the USB rightmost port and a USB cable to the leftmost port, which will connect to the PS3 controller a little bit later on. So let's go ahead, turn on the PS3. Let's go back to the TV here. And we'll show you what it looks like. So just to recap, I have installed 4.76 OFW when we first started this tutorial process. Okay. So let's go all the way to the left here. Let's go down to system settings and show you what my current system looks like. So we go down to system settings 
and then we go down to here system information we see that my system software is 4.76 actually okay so now what we're going to do is let's go and update system update update via storage media scanning 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 3.55 or Gerald downgrader hey this looks really like good news go ahead press X and let's go through the process and see what it looks like I have not done a downgrade before with a 4.76 so let's learn as we go here okay I'm gonna suck the user agreement I'm not going to turn off the PS3 after update and let's go ahead and go to start and press X so here's a progress bar of copying update data to system storage so as the video goes on uh, depending how long certain segments are, I may fast forward or cut ahead, so we'll see how things uh, progress. Okay, so this came to this screen here. Um, it says press the PS button to use the controller, so I'm going to go ahead and press that just to see what happens here. And my controller is flashing all four LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect the USB cable to my PS3 controller, just in case here. And it turns out it went into this process without me even doing anything with my PS3 controller. So uh, that's a heads up there. So you don't have to connect your USB cable, at least not yet. And let's go ahead and let it finish its installing process. All right, sweet, the Rogero downgrader is installed. So this is really good news. How do we know it's working? Because we go down here, we have these two items here that did not exist before. That's freaking badass. Okay, so next thing we want to do is let's go ahead, let's for kicks, let's go see the system settings. Let's see what it says. So we go down to system information, 3.55. Okay, so this is like a pseudo custom firmware. All right. I can live with that. So now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and install those two packages that we put on the USB thumb drive earlier. So install package files. And we're going to install the Condor updater. So go ahead and press X on this guy. So that's good. And then let's go ahead and install the QA flag, or toggle QA, actually. Okay, once that's done, let's go ahead and run toggle QA. Toggle QA, make sure that it sets all the file properties correctly for your firmware so that we can actually do the downgrade to like a 3.55 or older firmware successfully. So when you run it, you should hear some beeps from the PS3. So let's go ahead and wait for that sound. Okay, so it turns out the Toggle QA furls in a black screen. I restart the PS3, did the same thing, still got a black screen. So I ended up taking apart the PS3, realized that my ribbon cable for the Blu-ray drive was loose to the motherboard. So I made sure it was fully down, and now everything should be working. So we go back here, run the Toggle QA, and we should definitely hear the three beeps. So let's wait. There we go. Now it restarts back to the X and B screen. Now, let's just verify that Toggle QA is working. So now what we do is we go over here to settings, go all the way down to network settings. Now you press L1, L2, R1, R2, L3, and the down button all at the same time. And we see that we have these three items that came up. Excellent. That means Toggle QA is working perfectly. Now what you want to do is go back to your computer, and we're going to rename the OFW 3.55 to PS3 update that pup. So with that said, let's jump straight back into that portion of the video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we have successfully downgraded the PS3 using the, um, the Rogero downgrader. So at this point in time, what I want you guys to do is you can either delete this file or just make it into a backup folder. I'm just going to make a quick backup. I'm going to call this backup real quick here. And then I'm just going to put that in there for reference in, in case I ever need it again in the future. And then we're going to rename this as ps 3 updatepup So this is the OFW 3.55. And now we're going to use the Condor package to restart our PS3 in recovery mode and install the official 3.55. So eject your USB thumb drive. Let's go back to the computer. Uh, go back to the PS3, excuse me, and finish the downgrade process. Let's do this. Okay, so once you have renamed the OFW 3.55 to PS3 Update That Pup, you put it on your USB thumb drive, FAT32, under the PS3 Update folder. 
Now insert the USB thumb drive to your PS3. Now go back to your PS3, and we're going to go to the game section and go to Condor Updater. So go ahead and press X. And then at this point in time, it's a good idea to get your USB cable connected to your PS3 controller because we're going to need to use that during this next portion of the video tutorial. So the PS3 is going to restart itself, and then we're going to see this black screen with some text on there that says, please insert or connect a USB cable to your PS3 controller. So we'll see this momentarily here. So here it is. So now we're going to go ahead and press the PS button. We see this screen here. So now we're going to press start and select at the same time. It's tracking. It says please wait. And what it should do is it should see the official 3.55 OFW firmware. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now it's saying it's preparing to update. So I'm going to let us do its thing. Now fast forward the video accordingly. So after it does that update, it's going to go to this checking for update data. Now it's going to do this system update, so we'll let it run this course. All right, so after that whole install process, it's going to restart, take you back to X and B screen, and we should be officially 3.55. So let's go ahead and double check that. So we go down to uh, settings. Now we go down to system settings, and we go all the way down to system information, and it says 3.55. It's official firmware. We're good to go. And from here, you can install any custom firmware of your choice, and that's awesome. So that is a really long four-part video tutorial series. I'm going to make some more PS3 videos, of course. But if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.